Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very small little game called Adventure of D, second edition. One to three players, 25 minutes per player. A big adventure in a small box, it says here. You will have an exciting journey throughout the island to defeat the evil El Zoof in the Tower of Death. You will defeat monsters, complete quests, learn skills, gain items, upgrade your stats, and more. Using the Diceless Power Card system, you must plan where you move and where you rest. You will control the random events, and you will make meaningful decisions every turn. All right, well, let's take a look inside here. Looks like we've got a adventure-themed game. I mean, that's in the name of the game, so I imagine that it's... Well, it tells you right there. It's a fantasy adventure card game. All right, so no conjecture on my part. It's written right there on the box. Got a little bit of packing materials to kind of keep things safe, because it looks like we have a big tuck box here okay so it looks like the game is primarily going to be cards with a couple of little are these acrylic yeah they are there these are kind of cool these are acrylic pieces that are screen printed there's one in three different colors because this plays one to three players so i really like those pieces a lot all right let's just look at the main deck of cards here Looks like we also are going to have our rules in, within this tuck box. All right. So we've got some square cards, first of all, double-sided with some numbers along the sides. I, I'm betting these are counters, you know, depending on which side they're facing. That's going to be, oops, let's try to do that. Probably something along those lines so you can kind of keep track of maybe stats would be my guess. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at our rules pamphlet here. All right, so we see that we've got our intro, our list of components, where it goes into more detail. You've got the hero cards and upgrade cards. Here you've got the power cards. You've got the location cards. You've got a number of keywords. And you've got a setup here. All right. Now I've got to try to fold that back the way it was. Hey, I did it. All right. Let's take a look at these cards, which is going to be the primary component of the game. Looks like this is our kind of player aid card. Got double-sided location cards, it looks to me. Garden of Mushrooms, A Plain of Sorrow. The Swamp of Talus, Mountain of Mage, Village of Dawn. And again, these are double-sided. All right. The Ranger and the Hobbit and the Ninja, the Elf and the Merchant, Druid, Blue Wizard, Amazon, Knight, Fighter, Dwarf, Bard, Monk, Priest, Scholar. That's a lot of characters. Okay. Tower of Death, Swamp of Talus, Garden of Mushrooms. So, a lot of cards here. These look like they are monsters that you maybe will find in these places, would be my guess. Some items, perhaps. Looks like we might have some more rules here. Yes, we do. Two sheets. It didn't look like that was all the rules, but that's okay. I'll go through... These cards a little bit more, so you can get just a little bit more of a feel for the iconography and the art direction. All right. The first edition of this game, I believe, has been out for a pretty significant amount of time. I seem to remember hearing ab ab about it at, uh, at one time or another. I don't remember exactly when, but oh, I think this is the secondary rule book. But this looks to be like uh, there's quite a bit with these cards. So here's the actual gameplay. It's played in turns. Um, you follow these five steps in order. You reveal a new event. Looks like you do it twice. The main phase, the rest, and then the end turn. All right. It gives you examples of all those. And you've got your main phase here, your movement, your action. 
different tests that you might have to complete, resting, the Tower of Death, and then winning the game. All right, if it's competitive, the player who defeats Elzoof wins the game. If it's co uh, cooperative or solo, there are different winning conditions there. And there's also a heroic mode if you're finding the game not challenging enough. All right, well, a fantasy adventure card game. Oh, and it just spilled over. That is, I'm having a hard time keeping that up. Let's try, there we go, Adventure of D. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.